Hello, Magic Community on YouTube. I'm T1 Glistener Elf here to show you an ally deck of mine, Mono White Allies for Modern. Very cheap, actually, or you can make this a cheap deck. I'll have a few expensive cards in here. You don't have to play all of them, and I'll tell you when we get there. Let's start off. You have four Hada Freeblade. Uh, very quickly, just just a white weenie, a white weenie that keeps getting bigger. For one, you know, that's nice. Set you over here. You are the same thing, Kazandu Blade Master, except you have first strike and vigilance and start out just a little bit bigger. This guy is, I mean, decent enough that you can just run him anyway. Uh, in limited, you remember allies did very well, and uh, this is part of why you just do work all on your own. Ondu cleric. I am going by curve, you see. Uh, life gain. Every time an ally enters, gain some life. That gets insane if you let him stay out over the course of a game. It starts to feel like Soul Sisters a little bit, if that guy sticks. Next, four Kabira Evangels. This one gives protection, and I can actually do some neat combat tricks. It may seem pretty linear, you're just casting it on your turn. I have some nice little tricks to use with you. Actually. Next, I have four mirror entities. Being changelings, or having changeling rather, they are allies, and the ability for creatures I control to become XX and gain all creature types, the latter part not so much, but become XX, that's on top of whatever counters Kazandu and Hada have. Obviously, that gets to make them rather big. Rather big indeed. And lastly, because uh, Talus Paladin, Taurus Paladin, whatever his name is, is probably not worthy of being played in this deck as a 4-drop that doesn't even have lifelink without an ally entering. Probably not. So instead, we, we go into non-allies. We have Mentor of the Meek here. Now, you may remember when this card was in Standard, uh, one of the criticisms against it, and part of why it's not played in Modern, I, I believe, uh, is that uh, if a creature becomes bigger, say through Honor of the Pure, uh, or Mayor of Averbrook, then it no longer qualifies. You can't pay the one to draw a card. Now, important, it's important to note that all of the creatures in this deck start out being small enough that Mentor of the Meek works for them. Uh, Hada Freeblade and Kazandu Blade Master will get bigger, to be sure. Um, and so you kind of get the best of both worlds. You get a creature that's small enough that you can get some draw power in, get some velocity, while still having creatures that will get big enough to actually be decent threats on their own. Next, we're going to play four Ether Vials. I think they rather speak for themselves. Some neat little tricks, obviously flashing in some blockers, flashing in some life gain if they think they, they can win and go for it, but turns out they can't and then you can strike them back. Um, most importantly, I would submit, is giving them protection on my opponent's turn. Helping them to get around kill spells and the like. Next, we have four Scouts Warning. Very similarly, this one lets me flash in my creatures. All it gives me just a tiny bit of draw power, in addition to Mentor of the Meek. Uh, occasionally, I'll use this as a trick. Again, protection, life gain. Some sideboard cards that can use that. Uh, next we have, of course, because it's a white deck, Four Paths to Exile, uh, Rebecca Gay's art. It's absolutely gorgeous. Has to be my favorite art for Path to Exile, including the FNM promo that's coming out. Again, because we're a white weenie deck, we run four Brave the Elements. All white creatures that I control. That is certainly very nice use it for defense or just for that strike to finish it off. Now here's a card that I'm trying out. Immortal Servitude. Return each creature card with converted mana cost X from your graveyard to the battlefield. I'm usually going to want to cast this for two. Getting back Kazandu Blade Master to turn it huge and Undo Cleric to gain a bunch of life is usually enough to just swing the game so far in my direction that I have it from there. Uh, I can also get it on three, although there's not so much power to that. Uh, Mentor of the Meek, uh, Mirror Entity, Kabira Evangel, some cyborg cards. Uh, will certainly, that's certainly much better than nothing. Um, I'm trying it out. It's good Wrath Hate, I think. Uh, now here's, 
Here's not a budget card. Not exactly. For Cavern of Souls. Although it's a monocolor deck, you don't need help with the color, therefore, just by virtue of being a tribal deck, we want to be able to use this to fight the counterspell decks. And use it, and use it, and use it, and use it. Uh, four of them. Let's say right about here. And then 15, I'm running snow-covered planes. There is actually no reason to run snow-covered in this, other than to make your opponents think that you might use the snow-covered part of it for for something. But no, we don't use snow for anything in this list, sideboard included. And speaking of sideboard, so here's what I have so far. I'm less sure about the sideboard than I am the main board. And I'm not even completely sure about parts of the main board. And you. We'll get to you in just a moment. Aegis of the Gods. Uh, just today, I played against an opponent who ran Gifts Ungiven. Fun fact, Gifts Ungiven targets. So Aegis, to fight that, uh, yeah, you can fight Escape Shift, Burn, there's a number of things you can use, and it's very important, I would submit, to be able to flash this card in. Make them waste the resource. Um, I'll set you right over here for now. Three of you. I have one blind obedience, little bit of burn hate, little bit of twin hate. Just makes them come in tapped, and so the twin player cannot go off through that. Just there to supplement my uh, removal spells. Two Aether Sworn Canonist. Now, I would submit, and by the way, I would run Imposing Sovereign there in place of blind obedience if I had it, because having creatures that I can flash in to do these shenanigans, I would say in an Aether Vial deck is where I need to be. Two Aether Sworn Canonists to fight against um, Storm, of course. You could run the, uh, the Three Drop. You could run Eidolon of Rhetoric. I don't actually know the creature type of Eidolon. Uh, Aether Sworn Canonists, Human. If I need to, you'll, you'll note that I could name Ally, but that doesn't work for Mentor of the Meek. I could name Human, but that doesn't work for Undo Cleric. Uh, if I name human, I have either Sworn Canonist. If I remember correctly, I think it's Eidolon of Rhetoric's a spirit? Don't hold me to that, please, though. Could be very wrong. One Grand Abolisher. Fight counterspell counter decks in general. Here we are. Currently, I'm running four Stony Silence here. Uh, just, I'm not sure what in my colors is better to fight against Affinity. I would like to have something like this that I could flash in as a creature, uh, but sadly, I do not. And then lastly, ah, Thalia, Guardian of Thraben. You are certainly the candidate most likely to replace Mentor the Meek. I like to be able to fight against combo in the main board, and frankly, as you can see, there's not really anything that I'm doing to fight combo in here at all. Thalia might go in. Instead, what I've gone for, what I've elected to take, is Mentor the Meek for Velocity's sake. Oh, that rhymed. Did not even mean to do that. Anyway. Uh, but feel more than free to change that up. I may be completely wrong about that. Maybe Thalia should be in the main board and Mentor in the side. Um, but that's actually the deck right now. And I will see you later, YouTube. Take care.